Kelsadilia 2 has proof that dreams do come true. Getting a good tail sequel is rare enough on its own, but getting his localized is pretty much asking the impossible. The game features a weapon switching silent, not silent protagonists, along with all of the original Zillia cast. Every map and dungeon from the first game is reused at some point, but this game still doesn't manage to recycle as much content as Final Fantasy XIV. The story has a huge emphasis on choice, but not much of it actually matters in the sense that everything plays out pretty much the same regardless. Not that that's a bad thing. As an expansion, I feel like $60 is a steep price considering just how much recycling was done despite a completely new story. 